Alex Alexia. So I figured since a lot of you guys have asked me in my streams and in the comments down below, how do you stream or record through OBS with a slow computer or a computer that you feel probably won't be able to handle running OBS while playing your game that you're recording. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how I do it because as you guys know sometimes my computer can act up and decides that it doesn't really want to cooperate with me. Um, so yeah, obviously if you are new here please do be sure to subscribe and like this video for more tutorials. Um, so as a lot of you guys know if you happen on this channel we do mainly Roblox streams and videos. So obviously my settings are to adjust with Roblox and my computer, but the settings I'm gonna be showing you guys are settings that you should have for just any kind of game and streaming. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to settings. This is where you're gonna find all the settings that you need for uh, streaming and recording. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to output. This is where you're gonna wanna go uh, just for streaming or recording, it's the same thing pretty much. Um, this this right here is the same. So over here, radio, audio track, that's not really important. I've never had to do anything with that. Encoder. If you know your computer is slow, do X264. That is what a lot of people have, even if your computer is fast. Rescale output, just leave that alone, that's not really that important. Rate control, it should automatically be set to CBR. If it isn't already, be sure to set it as CBR. Bitrate is extremely important. This is what makes your stream pretty much slow or fast and the CPU usage. So what you're gonna wanna do, if, if you know your computer is slow, just go to a lower number. Currently I have mine set to 7,500. It does not be this high. It's better, if, if you're recording, you can have it higher than usual depending on your computer. If, it, if you're streaming, I recommend having it lower than usual. Usually when I'm streaming, I have to have it anywhere from 3500 to 5500 so that is my usual. So for example, if you want to change it because your computer is slow and you know that, just go ahead and make it 3500, press apply and press ok, obviously I'm going to leave mine at 7500 for the sake of the video, hang with the quality. Um, you can also have it at 2500, 2500, that's why I used to have to have mine at, so that is fine. Keyframe interval, just leave it as zero, that doesn't need to change. CPU usage, this is another thing that really, really makes your stream faster or slower. If you want, if you see your stream is going slower, this is what I used to struggle when I first was streaming. You want it to be ultra fast. This means less CPU. That is what I highly recommend. I have mine at the top it can be. I used to think the lower you went, the faster it's going to be, but that is not the case. If your computer can handle it, do very slow or slow or medium or fast. I have to have mine ultra fast just to not risk anything. The next thing you're going to want to go to is you're going to want to go to video. Obviously, as you can tell, I can't adjust anything because I am recording to OBS right now. However, uh, base canvas size, this is pretty much your OBS screen. I have mine set to 1080. It doesn't really, that's not that important. Your outscale, your outscale, your output resolution. This right here is what the viewers see. So pretty much theirs will be 720 if you have it to 720. I have mine set to 720 just for the sake of I don't want my stream to lag. So that's just for me to be safe. Downscale filter, I recommend you put it on by cubic. Um, that is best for me. And common FPS value, I have mine set to 29.97. You can obviously go a little bit higher if you want to, but I really don't like risking it. So yeah, that's in this video. It was pretty simple, pretty quick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I could help anybody that is watching. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. I will see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.